I have to finish this review before this coffee gets cold or else I'm going to turn into a ghost. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and for today's video, I'm going to do a book review. So today, I'm going to talk about the book Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawakuchi and this work is actually translated to English by Geoffrey Trusselot. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm going to put it down in the description. So the reason why I read this book is because I just started watching The Umbrella Academy with my boyfriend. And as you know, the main theme in that series is time travel. And I realized that I have this book about time travel in my TBR list. So I decided to read it now. <laughs> So I'm going to try my best not to spoil anything in this video, but I will however talk a little bit about the story. So if you don't want to learn anything at all about this story, then you can stop watching this video because I will talk about it. I'm so sorry. So yeah, let's start. So this story is all about this coffee shop that can transport you back to time. This cafe is called Cafe Funicoli Funicula. And it has become an urban legend because it can allegedly take you back to the past. But the twist is, there is some set of rules that are kind of absurd. Or once you actually find out about the rules, you will probably not be interested in going back in time anymore because there's so many rules. Rule number one is you can only meet people who has been in that cafe. So if you're trying to meet someone who's never been there i'm sorry but <laughs> you will not be able to see them the second rule and this is a tricky one is you cannot change the present no matter how hard you try rule number three is there's only one seat in that entire cafe that can transport you back in time this is kind of spoilery but <laughs> it's actually occupied by a ghost so you have to wait for the ghost to go to the toilet so you can sit in that seat. So rule number four is you cannot move from that seat or else you're going to be forced back into the present. And last rule is there is a time limit. So you have to drink your coffee before it gets cold or else you're going to get stuck in that timeline and you're going to turn into a ghost. So this book is actually divided into four stories and they're all about the people who are regulars in that cafe. So they're kind of interrelated. The first story is the lovers, then husband and wife, the sisters, and mother and child. So I'm not going to be talking about each one because that will give everything away. But I do want to talk about the first story in this book and it's called The Lovers because i think that this story really gave the general idea of what the book is about so Sorry. the first story follows a character named fumiko fumiko visited this cafe one week ago because her then boyfriend goro told her that they need to have a serious conversation and for some reason she thought that he was gonna ask her to marry him but then he told her that he's going to America. And after a week, she realized that she was in the cafe that is popular for being a time traveling cafe. So she went back to that coffee shop and asked about this time travel business. And she was introduced to the rules of this cafe. And then she found out that about the rule that whatever you do, you cannot change the present. <laughs> and of course, this really annoyed her because the very reason why she came back there is because she wants to undo her breakup. If you've ever experienced a bad breakup, you've probably wished you could go back in time so that you can change things. I find this rule a really interesting take in the time travel trope because when you see a time travel story 
there's always a conflict of changing things in the past and messing up the present but this book actually removes that conflict it simply asks the question what would you do if you can go back in the past but you cannot change anything overall i really like this story i think this is a very compelling story but what i like most about it is how the characters are very well written it feels like you get to really know them and be part of their stories they're just so fun to read and they feel so real they feel like people that you would actually know and care about but my favorite character is probably kazu so kazu is the waitress who handles this time traveling business <laughs> So the reason why I like her so much is she's described to be this huge introvert and even though she she's the one who acts like the gatekeeper of this time traveling chair she acts like it's no big deal but the truth is she's actually very caring and very understanding to people she truly cares about and that's why I like about her um, I really like this book I gave it 4 stars. It's such an easy, fast read and I highly recommend it to you guys. Even if you're not into time travel, it just makes me want to read other books from Japanese authors. I'm currently listening to Convenience Store Woman as an audiobook. So, so far I really like it. Um, so if you have any other suggestions for me, feel free to comment down below. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. That's it, see you again in my next video, bye!